hey what's up nation music family welcome back to the channel and today today i have a crazy tutorial for you guys i'm back and i'm back i'm back with another crazy tutorial nation and today i'm going to show you how i made this crazy beat and um, it's a club vibe beat and it's going to give you some vibe i hope guys you're gonna like this but before we continue make sure that you have hit the subscription button make sure that you have subscribed to the channel turn on the post notification wherever i post you be the first one to get the notification that i've already posted another tutorial so guys one minute for you just some seconds hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification for all notifications and i really appreciate so guys i made this beat with 11 patterns and um first of all this beat does the tempo of 95 and um, from the channel rock i swing this beat with 50 percent so when you go to the swing button here no you can swing it to 50 percent so first of all i chose my my line my samples and here and here yeah as you can see so the first one it is a kick which i arranged it like this i just did a four step then i added a here there there and there not really but like that so that was my kick and it sounded like this Yeah, that was my kick and if you can hear it has a lot of it has a lot of power so first of all i increased the velocity here from the channel up to 100 then i open this side then when you go to this spanner thing like button there's this option here you can just increase also the velocity if you still can see that it doesn't have a lot of power but for me that's really okay with me so that was my kick then number two this i had i didn't use it but i think maybe i can just put it like this So it's going to sound like this. Then number three, I added some percussion that's a little bit like conga. So that one sound like sounded like this. So I'm going to reduce the velocity of this hi hat like that. Then after that, I added a uh, snare, which sound which sounds like this. Then I decrease the velocity, and that one. Goes. Okay, so with that single snare, I didn't find it looking nice, so I added another snare, which sounds like this. Which sound? Uh, sorry, which sounds like this? And when I add that one, you can hear the difference. Before, it sounded like this. Then, it sounds like this. How cool is that? Make sure that you have subscribed. Then I added some pack which sounds like this. This pack sounds like that. So my percussion was about full, so then I added a, a, a slap conga which sounds like this. 
So I arranged it like as you can see there. Yeah, I'm a king, you get your everybody. Okay, I'm not a rapper. Let's continue. Then, this this club, man, you just keep it on because I'll show you where I used it. Then, pattern number two, I started, I started dealing with instruments now, pattern number two. So, I made some code. First of all, I loaded Nexus. In Nexus, I went all the way to XP guitars and just guitar thing. I really like this one. Most of my beats, all of you will not miss this thing. Just guitar thing. And I reduced the reverb to zero and the delay also, I put it to zero. So, then here I really reduced the velocity because instruments from Nexus, they really have a lot of sound. They they're amazing, but this bit I wanted it to be down a little bit down. So I arranged the chords like this. These are like the chords. So that's how my code sounded. Then I copied these chords to this sampler. What did I do? I did like this copy, then pasted this in this sampler and pasted them. So it was like that. Then I selected them, all of them, squeezed them to the back. I wanted to get a shadow so that to those whom they do have some media controller so that you can get where, where you can put those keys so that you may not be out of any key you, i don't want if you don't want to be off key you should do this probably you should do this if you don't have a media controller so then i i shift left click then down arrow shift left click down arrow shift left click up 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 and up so I did like that then then I added an expand and that's pattern number three an expand two if you go to electro pianos and clefs if you can number 14 the ballad piano so i then this one i arranged it like this just simply like that so this one followed the the chords but i made them short then let's go to pattern number four pattern number four pattern number four it was nexus again xp guitars muted clean two so this one i arranged it like this Okay, I want it to be to be simple because it's not the main melody, but if you can make if you really want to make it the main melody, okay, let me show you. You can go back to this thing. So okay, let me let me just put that off. So you can 
do amazing things you can put like there like that can make it sound nice by doing it like that and here okay following this these shadows here i'm not off key so i know and you may have some melody like this okay this one is supposed to be here This one is supposed to be here. So that's another melody but I will not use this one so I just cut that one and so I leave it like this. Then the next pattern number 5 I added some electric pick bus 2 from flex if you go to general media you will want to find it here so I arranged it this like this. Then pattern number six. Pattern number six in Nexus and this was classical from it was classical from classical an instrumental called Dust Piccolo. And this one sounds like this. So that one sounded like that. Then pattern number six, pattern number seven actually. It's not a snare, but it's a plugin from native instrument B4 2. B4 2. So I was wondering what? A snare again so maybe i just just place some things it was this plugin let me just give it time to load and um, i chose instrumental called space and time space and time And this one sounded like this the way I arranged it. Yeah, then button numbers eight. Button number eight was hypersonic, and this was a guitar strat war. Start wow if you go all the way to electrical guitar screen, I don't think 
the then and look at this one then the release i reduced it this one pedal up to there up to there again the tone like that so this one sounded like this just like that then button number nine and it's buzz baseline just simple bass from the nexus bass the bass scene basic scene and this one sounded like this That was the best then pattern number 10 was some clubs this one so i arranged it like this these four i pan them if you go to the note pan you can see i pan that is then the velocity i reduced it i increase this screen here then i did like that because when you reduce it like this, you know what? I don't, I don't think you're going to find it. Okay, whatever. Then pattern number 11. Pattern number 11. I added some Tom. Tom go down. This one sounds like that. So this one I arranged it like the, the way the, the snares go. Yeah, that's how sound good. Then, if you go to the audio section, you're gonna find some this one. I did not use it, so I'm gonna delete that one. So when you go, I have my producer tag here. G -pro, G -pro, G -pro, G -pro, G -pro, then to the automation, automation. I got two automation for 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 for. The percussion and instruments because i arranged them after mixing 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 here i i took the, the percussion like the kick and send it to pan to, to to channel number nine like that like that these percussions these percussions these percussions like that then so that i can control them from here so the percussion i added um this 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 eq then i right clicked and got radio then i just reduced to this until i got what i wanted you're gonna hear it in the beat then like that then i switched them off so you can see they are off then i right clicked and create automation clip so today after i arranged my beat i came here i so if this line is up it's on the EQ is on if it's down the EQ is off like that so it's on it's off like that so guys we are about to listen to this video to the way it sounds from beginning to the end but make sure that you have subscribed guys to the channel make sure that you be part of the national music family channel and I really appreciate guys thank you for your support thank you for the love that you've been showing me all through and thank you guys Let's have a listen a bit. So this piece sounded like this. Subscribe guys. Love you all.